This is a Pioneer XDJ Aero, A-E-R-O. And I had a customer contact me and ask me if I could change one of the pots. The customer even supplied the replacement pot. You can see it right here. Pioneer part number DCV1029. And so I said, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. It's the Tempo pot for the right-hand side. Now, I don't know why he didn't want the left-hand side one changed. Maybe he's not having a problem with that one, just the right-hand side. So I said, yep, I'll go ahead and do it. No warranty. Once again, I'll change the pot, and that's it. So let's get into this thing. Okay, so I have the two halves separated. Here's the bottom half that doesn't have the pot in it. So here's the top half. Maybe this thing sustained some physical damage at one time because I see this plastic piece that goes all the way around it, all the way around to here, and it's broken right there. And this part is actually missing. And this was broken off inside the unit right here. It definitely attaches right there, and I think it's meant to hold the plastic piece down. There's another broken piece right there. And then this little standoff right there is physically broken out. As you can see, this one is wiggling. Might be kind of hard to see, but it's loose. That one right there is missing. So I'm wondering if this thing had some physical abuse. Anyhow, I need to go ahead and completely remove this board to gain access to the pot, which lives right under here. Okay, so I have the board folded back and I did go ahead and remove the screws that hold this unit down. And it just mounts right here like that. So I just need to make sure I get this back in the same orientation. I have a feeling that it will not go if you put it in backwards, it will not work. So I'm gonna to have to make some resistance measurements on the pads and find out which ones are actually used and which ones are not. So there doesn't seem to be any keen or anything on this pot. So looking down in the middle right here, I see there's a single carbon path that leads from the right side and joins the center slider right in the middle. And as you can see, it goes over to the left here and it goes over to the right over here on this side. So I made a mark right where that connector is so I can get it reoriented the right way. So it looks like this goes all the way back over here and joins uh, with one of these pins over here on the side. One of those pins right there, probably the second from the top. And then there's physically no connection on the lower two sliders right here. As you can see, there's no connection there whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and reorient the new one in the exact same way, just to make sure that center slider lead goes over to the right. So here's the new one oriented in the exact same way. And that's how it's going to go on. So I'm going to go ahead and make a mark on the pot where the connector should be about right there. Now these two pots should be virtually identical upon reassembly. So let's go ahead and zip this one off the board and solder the new one on. We'll put it back together and hopefully this will take care of the customer's issue. So I went ahead and pulled up a schematic on this unit just to make sure I get the pot in the correct orientation because it would be disastrous if I put it in backwards for this customer. And so I can clearly see that between pins one and three, I should have 50K, which is the resistance of the pot. Then there is like a loudness tap on pin four. Then the slider is on pin two. Unfortunately, nothing is marked on this board. So I don't know what pin one, three, four, and two actually are. But there is the board view of where the pot goes. This is the Tempo 2 board assembly, but still no pin numbers whatsoever. So I'm just going to use my best judgment based on what I see on the old pot versus the new pot. And we'll put this thing together and hopefully we get good results. All right. So based on the diagram, I did go ahead and add some pin numbers here. Pin three, pin four, pin one, and pin two right there. And I did do resistance measurements on the new pot. And I found out that yes, I do need to align it with the red mark 
to the connector just like it is right there and it should be just fine. So let's go ahead and swap this thing out. Okay, time for reassembly. Although after reassembly, I'm not gonna really test this thing because I don't really have the means to power this up or even know how to use this thing. But let's put it back together. But I think first I'll do some resistance measurements on this plug right here. The five pins, you can see they're labeled ground, ADCT, ADN, 3.3 volt AD and ground F. So we're only interested in pins one, two, three, and four because ground F, I believe, is just a chassis ground. The ground AD actually connects to the pot, as you saw in the schematic. Okay, so measuring from pin four to pin one, which is right across the pot, I see 4K, and there are a couple of 2.2K resistors across this, so that's perfectly fine. So let's run the pot all the way to one side. Then we'll measure from pin four to pin three. And I see 1.3 ohms that way. Run it all the way the other side now. Once again, I should see the four approximate K. And I do. What about the AD center tap? Pin two, what does it read? So two to four, I read 2K. And two to three, I read 2K. So as far as I can tell, everything is working absolutely perfectly. Let's go ahead and throw this thing back together now. Okay, well, I have fulfilled my part of the obligation, replacing the right-hand tempo pot with a customer-supplied Pioneer DCV1029 made-in-China pot. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to replace the pot in your XDJ Aero. Go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below, good or bad. I try to respond to the comments when I have time. While you're done there, hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really helps my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me NorCal715videos at gmail.com. Please be patient. I have a full-time job and I do these repairs in my spare time. If you do message me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, 
Please be aware it might be weeks or even months before I respond. I rarely check those messages. Please, if you want to contact me, use the Gmail address only. Remember, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Everyone, if you are so inclined, have a great day. Everyone, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. So here's the old pot, as you can see, it's definitely been banged on. The shaft is definitely bent compared to the new pot where the shaft should be perfectly straight and it is, it looks great.